Hey guys, we're currently in Singapore. We flew in last night and today we are jumping on the inaugural Scoot flight from Singapore all the way to Berlin. Now the reason we have picked this flight is because this is the cheapest way. We looked online, it's the cheapest way to get from Australia to mainland Europe. It's the very first flight and we just got back from Universal Studios. So now we're gonna go jump in a cab and head to catch this flight. Awesome, thank you so much. Alrighty guys, welcome to Terminal 2 here in Changi Airport. Thanks again, the bags, box. <laughs> oh, I forgot how cool this thing is. It's like all like old school, showing the times of the flights coming in. And I'm sure our flight's not even up there. Well, that's the coolest clock ever. We're a little bit early to check into our flight. To be honest, I'm a little bit peckish. They have these little vending machines. I wonder what you're going to be like. Take my money, please. <laughs> what? Take my money. And then it just prepares the food for me. Uh, Salted egg yolk and prawn. We'll see what Brown? that's like. Three, two, one. Hey! Oh, that is so hot. Oh. Is it? Ow! <laughs> Dinner is served. How did it heat it up that quick in like 30 seconds? Alrighty, 20, 20 minutes, minutes later. later. <laughs> and now it's uh, cool enough to take his oh, bite. I might have a fun. Hey, it was cheap for airport food. So it's like a That's an interesting soft texture. wrap. Yeah, if you call it that. Like really doughy wrap. <laughs> Eggy? Salty? Is it? Is it good? Three bucks out of a vending machine. Had to wait 20 what? minutes. Okay, I have to try it now. You say it's actually good. So it's temper your expectations though. You said it was the best thing you've ever had. <laughs> oh, was that gross? Yeah, it's that was really gross. It's really soft. Best thing, oh, wow, your face is, I feel like you're agreeing with me, but. Oh. No? <laughs> say no words. Alrighty, so because check-in was so quick, we have all the time in the world at this airport. <laughs> and luckily we're at the Singapore airport. I think there's a, quite a few things that you can do here. So we're going to go and see how long we can keep ourselves entertained for. Now that is the coolest kinetic art sculpture I've ever seen. I could watch this thing all day. Ooh, free movie. Ooh, butterfly garden. Hey buddy. So they put all these pineapples and flowers out for them, but it's night time. Butterflies sleep. <laughs> Ready? You're not working hard enough. Faster, I want my phone charged for the flight. <laughs> we found the gaming room. <laughs> We've literally found this entire entertainment complex. And Steven's found Call of Duty. It's so cool. It's in Terminal 2 above the fish pond, the koi fish pond. This is like the best airport ever. Rate your toilets here. So because we saved so much money on our flight and we had a bit more time to kill, we decided to buy access to a lounge, which we've never really done before. It was the Sats Lounge in our terminal and it was about $38 each. Yeah, we were pretty excited to be going into a lounge. But yeah, welcome to our lounge, guys. This is the Sats Lounge. This is our seating area. There's our dinner. Food is there. Hot chocolate is there. We just found out that there's massage chairs. After all the walking at Universal Studios. Yes. Oh, the butt cradle? Butt cradle? <laughs> or the sweet dreams? Let's do the butt cradle. I feel no butt action. Oh, it's getting my shoulders. It's vibrating my brain. 
What's it doing? Do you see that? Oh, this looks good. Alrighty, this is the closest to a ginger beer. It is a ginger ale, which is a different type of drink. Ginger ale ain't nothing like a ginger beer, Steve. <laughs> is it great? I had some cake stuck in my throat. So the food seemed to be a lot of like curries and rices, I'm guessing because we're in Singapore. And this is the veggie option, so it was like a coconut milk sauce with veggies and rice. Oh. I have to admit guys, for our first kind of paid lounge experience, I think it was $38 each, which is super cheap. Got all that food, all that drink as well. Also because we booked it directly through Scoot's website, we actually get to board the plane first, so they give you like a priority first access, which is going to be nice. So when we jump on the plane and they call business class, we can just jump on with them. I feel like a hot mess. Whose idea was it to go to a theme park before a red-eye flight that's 12 hours long? I think it was your idea. <laughs> Alrighty guys, so we are heading to our gate now. We are boarding like I think in 20 minutes or so. Yep. But I'm kind of excited because this time last year we were boarding our flight, the Scoot flight, inaugural flight from Singapore to Athens. For the wedding. For the wedding. Yes. And they went like all out for it. People were dressed up as like Greek gods and they had all these like games and stuff on the plane. So I'm interested if they're going to do that this year. Yes. For Berlin. Like I'm they were giving away people's flight. One best dressed. You won your um, money back for your flights. It's kind of Why cool. didn't we dress up? I wonder if they're doing that this year. Do you have your hose garden? What is it? What do they wear? German outfits. <laughs> oh yeah. Hi. Oh. Do you know what's kind of cool? What? Is that we are going to be the first people on this plane on the very first flight. Not that we just got three pretzels. <laughs> Not that we just got. Do you, how many? <laughs> Do you get it? <laughs> oh. Oh. Hi. Oh. So seeing a scoot is a low cost carrier, we didn't have like the biggest expectations for how much leg room and stuff that we had. We were so surprised. Like we actually had way more leg room than any other low cost carrier we've flown before. We decided to pre-book our food so you can just buy it online, you tend to save some money. They gave us two meals throughout the plane, which was quite nice. There was no entertainment. You could pay for some movie and TV show access, but we always say just... We always just bring our own anyway. Also throughout the flight, yes, it was like the Athens inaugural flight. They did dress up in traditional German outfits. And they went around like serving our food in like little carts that had been decorated with the German colours and pretzels and so they kind of like stuck to their little theme. They also played games and you could win scoot vouchers. I love how we get to go on inaugural flights sometimes because it's so much different than your standard flight. It's like an experience, it's not just your normal flight. So it's really cool when they dress up and they, they do games and all that stuff. Ladies and gentlemen, we are finally here. Welcome to Berlin. So when we landed, the pilot announced that they'd be spraying down the aeroplane with these gigantic hoses from fire engines. And we found out that that's like a tradition. So to mark the arrival of a brand new flight, that's like a thing they do. I don't know if it's just in Germany or if it's around the world. They hosed us down. <laughs> you were tired. Five hours later, welcome to Berlin, everybody. And then once we uh, got off the plane, they were giving out Berlin bears. I want a teddy bear. Yeah, good morning. Welcome to Berlin. Thank you. Oh. Which is known for Berlin. This is like a tourist thing to pick up. So it's kind of cool that we arrived and they gave us our first souvenir. There was news reporters there. It, w it felt like an event. Yeah. Do I look like a hot mess? You I look feel beautiful. like a hot mess. <laughs> we made it to Berlin. Hey. Yay. We're here for four days? Yeah. We're here for four days, so we picked up one of these welcome cards. They're 33.50 euro, and you can go on any of the transportation for four whole days. Pretty good. But now we need to go find our bus, because I'm ready for a hotel. I really hope to do early check-in. It's only 8 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> that's the biggest joke of the day. X9? Yeah, that's our bus, X9. But you also got this, like, we just got them and we just got this massive book. So I'll see what else the cards get you. But I was like, that is so affordable. We can get around the city for four days for 33 euro. That's good, hey? That's pretty good. I mean, it was going to cost us 30 euro just to get a tap, like an Uber to our hotel. One. 
to. So it was 20 minutes on the bus, a 10 minute walk, and we arrived at our hotel, Pullman Berlin Schweizerhof. Am I saying it right? Pretty good. I like losing my voice, I'm too excited. <laughs> We just woke up, we had a quick hour and a half nap, but I think we, uh, we're not going to waste this day because it is no. only, oh, that's wrong, 7 o'clock back home. <laughs> so it's like almost 1pm here, they let us check in early. Hey! <laughs> Before we go off and explore, I thought I'd quickly give you guys a room tour because I know you guys like when we actually show you where we're staying. So I don't actually know where in Berlin we are yet, I haven't checked on the map, but here is our little view and... um. That's intercontinental. And then we've got a road and trees, but it's quite a nice little view. And here is our room. So that's where we just had the best nap ever, feeling so much more refreshed. Got a little workspace, a TV. We've only been able to find channels that speak German so far. So uh, we need to see if we can find any English speaking channels. We have a little coffee and tea station, which we, I think we've already had like almost all the coffees. I also saw how you were asking if it was a decaf or not on Instagram. I'm pretty sure they're all caffeinated. We couldn't work it out so we don't know if we're drinking decaf or caffeinated but I'm um, hopefully it was caffeinated. And then in here is our bathroom. We have robes. Very excited about that. Remember when we used to always like review a hotel on if they had robes it back would, in the day? It would be good or not. We did have robes. We can confirm the Pullman has robes. And um, yeah let's go and see a bit of Berlin. Hey, I'm so excited to be back in Europe. All right we're gonna figure this out together. <laughs> Currently staying in West Berlin. So we worked out to West Berlin and we were going up the road and we saw that there's this bar called Monkey Bar and you come to the top and it has epic views over the zoo. Like look at these views. Fitting name for this bar. You can just chill here, grab a drink, and then if you just look out there, that's the monkeys just there. It's so cool. Quite a unique little looking bar. So we really wanted to try and stay awake and get over the jet lag and we basically walked around Berlin like walking zombies. So delirious so we just decided to hit up all the tourist hotspots so we went to like the Reichstag building, we went to the Brandenburg Gate. <laughs> And then we went to Checkpoint Charlie, which we had actually never been to before. So last time we were in Berlin, the one sore spot we didn't come and visit was Checkpoint Charlie. It seems a lot more touristy than some of the other spots. You can get some photos with some like fake looking soldiers. We're looking for a coffee, we're crashing a little bit. And rather than going to Starbucks, they have a German chain after Albert Einstein. It's <laughs> Einstein Coffee. Apparently they do a nice strong German coffee here. By this time we were just Gone. We grabbed a coffee and literally just people watched. We watched a bunch of tourists getting photos with these two like fake American guards that are at Checkpoint Charlie and that's literally how we spent the rest of our day. I we don't just remember sat there the rest of our day. <laughs> like, I was like this is so weird we're sitting here drinking coffee watching tourists spending way too much money getting photos with these guards. Yeah that was our first day in Berlin we conquered the jet lag. But if you are new around here the Europe series begins. Right here in Germany we have so many fun things we have a couple of series here in Berlin and then we are hitting the road so yes. make sure you hit subscribe and if you enjoyed this kind of flight review which we've never really done too much on this channel make sure you let us know below give us a comment and also give us a thumbs up thanks so much for watching guys Bye.